Surrounded by grand mountains, majestic rivers, and prime camping is Vernal, Utah, the heart of the Uinta Basin. While other communities across the nation still struggle with the effects of the recession, how did a quaint valley town so rich in outdoor recreation become the fifth fastest growing micro city in the country? It would be easy to dismiss Vernal's population as being too small to sustain many big name businesses, but due to how remote we are from the next closest major city, Vernal draws people from a wide radius, making it the regional retail economic center for eastern Utah, southwestern Wyoming, and western Colorado. But many companies don't see the bigger picture here. So the competition for existing businesses is often weak. Whenever I go to the store, a lot of times I will go and there will be no eggs. I'd like to see a bigger variety of restaurants and maybe more entertainment, more things to do. An all-natural grocery store would be the one thing that I wish that I could have here. In some cases, there is no competition. Take Basin Sports, for example. In a region dominated by outdoor recreation, Basin Sports is the only sporting goods store in Vernal. Virtually all local hunting, camping, swimming, and other outdoor supplies are purchased at Basin Sports. But Basin Sports doesn't carry everything. It's common to find consumers leaving the area and regularly driving to Salt Lake City or Grand Junction or farther for not only outdoor supplies but also dining, entertainment, groceries, or even big ticket items like cars, boats, and RVs. Yeah, I go to Salt Lake uh, once a week, uh, Grand Junction maybe uh, I'll go there once a month. We probably go out of town like at least like eight times a year I'd say. Consumers with money are habitually traveling hundreds of miles, up to three hours, to get their needs met. Those companies that have recently expanded into our region have seen incredible results. Lowe's, Staples, Walgreens, Wells Fargo, AutoZone, Famous Footwear, and Cal Ranch, just to name a few. At the end of 2009, Cafe Rio opened a new chain in Vernal. Within two months, they needed to nearly double their size to meet demand. At the beginning of 2013, the grand opening of the new Dickies Barbecue in Vernal was the most successful in the company's history. And that store continues to do more than double the monthly average for a Dickies restaurant. Hotels also can't seem to keep up with demand. Since 2006, five new hotels have been built in Uinta County with another one on its way. Vernal alone now has 1,080 rooms. Even with that increase, at the end of 2012, the occupancy rate for our area still averaged at an incredible 82%. So, to answer the question, why is Vernal growing so fast? How can a remote area maintain a 4% growth rate per year? Well, because we have an economy based on energy production that is projected to double over the next decade. Vernal is the energy hub for a three-state region and jobs in the energy industry pay well. In fact, the average annual income in Uinta County for an energy-related employee is $90,000. Our workforce has money to spend, but few places to spend it. Even so, you can clearly see how Uinta County compares to the rest of the state when it comes to sales tax per capita. Uinta County spends about 17% more than the next closest comparable county. And that doesn't even include all the money spent outside the area. So with a strong customer base and a thriving market driven by long-term energy production, maybe it's not such a surprise that Vernal is the fifth fastest growing micro city in America. Welcome to Vernal, the heart of Uinta County, where we have the most dynamic business environment in the state of Utah. Come here and let us try and help you succeed. Call Tammy Lucero, the Executive Director of Uinta County Economic Development, or email her at this address.